Okay, we're getting up here. Uh, I wanted to stop and show you a couple things I've made. That old horseshoe thing there. And then uh, this is actually the last thing that I've just recently built. It's kind of hard to see. It's a weather vane. Let me see if I can get a little closer there. Yeah, it's hard to see, but that's it right there. I'm going to make a, probably a dozen of those. Uh, this is a piece that I picked up at the flea market. I'm going to restore it when I get around to it. It's been sitting there for a year and a half. Uh, this is my anvil. I made this anvil in 1983 in vocational school. It's two pieces of C channel uh, cut and put back to back with a one inch piece of steel on top of it and I milled it square and we heated and bent the horn and so forth. I've had it for a long time. Since 1983. Okay. Old post buys, old forge. I don't do a lot of stuff. Bend bend stuff. I make a few knives. So, here's my little shop. It's 10 foot wide, 16 foot deep. I'll show you what I got in here. There's my welder. That light helps anything. Yeah, just your. It's actually a 1959 model. I had it apart and there's a manufacturer date, 1959. It's a 180 amp. I had never seen one. Bought it at the auction. Torches, welder, grinders and stuff. This is like my little welding department. And I got my handy dandy little saw. Oh. That's a uh, I bought that at a flea market, cheap. I put this here uh, table plate on it for cutting it that way. Change it out when I cut horizontal. Uh, this old thing right here, kind of hard to see, but that's a post drill. It's a Green River, A number one, patented February 12, 1895. Put that at an auction. This is, uh, This is a jet model 15 mil drill. Uh, I've got this uh, jig here set up on it so that uh, I've got a job that is uh, C channel, small, one inch wide, half inch, but it's 53 inches long. And I made this setup so that I could mill across the full length of the table then reset the C channel and just keep moving through and do all 53 inches starting at one end and all the way through. 
Uh, my old bench grinder. This was an option by uh, some some old timer made this. With all the taps and I got tons of taps. What not? Drills. The old workbench toolbox. Got this nice vise. I do have a nice vise. I don't know if you can see that. But that's a Sterrett. Model 501, I believe. Probably one of the most high quality tools I've got. Uh, this is one of them little Harbor Freight drill presses. I bought it for twenty dollars. It does real good anything under a quarter of an inch. I got uh, here's one of my cannons up there. Let me turn that light. Yeah. That's one of the ones that's in the uh, uh, a video if you saw it. Uh, homemade cannons built and fired. Uh, those were, that's one of four that uh, I made. This is uh, an Enco. Oh, size an eight by twenty. Uh, Japanese lathe, but it actually does real well. Plug in, but uh, everything works on it. Good shape. Uh, I've got an old belt sander down there. I rigged up. This little welding machine right here needs to be thrown out. It's junk. Keep my big drills down. There. Uh, this drill press right here. This is one of my what I consider to be a jewel. Uh, It's not real good in here, but it's a buffalo, 15-inch uh, bench drill. It's got the original chuck, Jacobs. It's got the original handles, and those are wooden handles. And, of course, I was going to clean it all up and paint it and do all that stuff to it, and once I got it running and wiped it down. I decided not to do anything to it other than keep it cleaned and oiled spindles tight. I did have to put another motor on it. A half horse motor off another drill press. But uh, yeah, nice nice drill press. Uh, best I can come up with, I think it was made in 1937. Don't know that for sure, but Everything indicates that. And I got uh, I got this lathe here. It's uh, a 1941 South Bend, and it's in excellent condition. Uh, now I had to do a lot of stuff to get it up and running, and I did paint it. But it was like two years ago when I painted it, and I keep her keep it pretty oily. But uh, yeah, it goes right now. It's a good lathe. And uh, another grinder. This one's got a diamond wheel on it for my lathe tools. Uh, when I bought this lathe. This little cabinet came with it. A roll around tool cart. And uh, it was plumb full of tools. Now, a lot of this stuff I've picked out and since then. But, you know, I got. Uh, it came with probably 30 pounds of tool steel. You know, two bits. Uh, 
lots and lots of stuff there. I got uh, all of the old tool post stuff, which I used for a long time. Now I finally broke down and bought this quick change, which I'm glad I did. Because I do a lot of multiple step stuff there. But yeah, live center, darling threading tools. Uh, this thing threads good too. Uh, I don't know how familiar you are with it, but it's really easy. You can just dial right to it, in and out, left, right. Once you understand it, it's simple. But yeah, got all that stuff. Got four jaw chucks, three jaw chucks came with it. Face plates, a uh, little bit of everything. But uh, that's about it. It's a uh, it's a one man band right here. Now most most of my anything big obviously I don't do here, but uh, mostly what I do inside this building is machining of small parts. So this is it. This is the grand tour. Of the little machine shop. That is in my backyard. There, we got my Uncle Sam. That's Uncle Sam. Alright, that's it. I uh, thank you for watching. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Appreciate it. Have a great day.